In this video, we will be learning about drift and displacement in orthodontics. So, what is drift and displacement? They are the types of growth movements which we can see in the craniofacial region. The craniofacial bones, we have two types of growth movements that are the drift and displacement. Displacement we will see next. Now, coming to drift. So, drift is also called as cortical drift. Now, what is drift? So, drift is a growth movement of an enlarging portion of a bone by the remodeling of its own osteogenic tissues. So, imagine this as an enlarging portion of a bone, a part of a bone. Now, this bone will undergo enlargement to a larger size by remodeling. The bone itself will undergo remodeling and due to the remodeling of the own tissues, there will be enlargement of the bone. There will be growth movement. That is called as drift. Here two events will be taking place that is bone deposition and bone resorption. So considering this break as the bone, deposition taking place in one direction and resorption in the opposite direction. Now bone has to move right. Bone will not go in this direction but drift will be taking place that is growth movement will be taking place in the direction of bone deposition. Now if bone deposition and Resorption takes place at the same rate. As the, at the same rate, what happens? Thickness of the bone will be the same. There will be no change in the thickness. But during the growth time, that is during the developmental period, we can see deposition is at a faster rate. This will be at a faster rate and this will be a bit slow. So we can see there will be enlargement of the bone because of more deposition in this direction. So that's all about drift. Now coming to Displacement in orthodontics. So displacement, it is a physical movement of the whole bone as a unit either because of its remodeling action or because of growth of adjacent bone or tissue. Here the bone will move moving as a complete unit. The whole bone will be moving either due to remodeling or due to the growth of a adjacent bone or tissue. So, either due to remodeling or when a bone or tissue grows near to it, it can cause the movement of this bone, that is displacement. Here also we have a diagram which will represent displacement. So, here we can see the brick is moved with the help of a person. It is being moved as a whole unit with the help of another person. So, now we we'll consider the brick as the bone. And similarly, the bone can, will be moved with help of another bone or another tissue. There will be movement of the bone with the help of an another bone or tissue. That is displacement. This diagram says that. Now we have two types of displacement. That is primary and secondary displacement. First, let's see the primary displacement. So primary displacement is the movement of the whole bone due to the growth of the bone itself. So, as the bone is growing, there will be movement of the bone. It is not depending on any other bone. It is the bone itself. The growth of the bone itself causes the movement of the bone. So, here we can have the movement either in the direction of deposition or in the direction of resorption. In both directions, we can have movement of growth. Now, we have two examples. That is mandible and maxilla which shows primary displacement. First, coming to mandible. So the diagram you can see the growth of the mandible. It is at the initial stage and later it has grown to an adult size or a bigger size. Now the condyle and the mandible as it is growing to maintain the contact with the fossa. We know we have a mandibular fossa. So to maintain the contact with the fossa the condyle will be growing in backward and upward direction. So the arrow mark shows the direction. It is a backward and upward direction, what happens is the mandible is getting displaced in a downward direction. So growth of the condyle in a backward and upward direction to maintain contact with the fossa causes the displacement of mandible in a downward direction that is primary displacement. So the growth of the bone is causing the displacement of the bone itself. Now coming to maxilla. So maxilla I have shown the plus sign near the maxilla. The 
that is bone deposition is occurring in the maxilla or growth is occurring in the maxilla in direction is upward and backward the arrow marks are upward and backward so growth of the maxilla in an upward and backward direction here also to maintain the contact with the cranial base they are growing in upward and backward direction will be displacing the maxilla in an forward and downward direction so growth of maxilla in an upward and backward direction will be displacing the maxilla in the downward and forward direction so growth of the bone itself is causing the displacement here also so these both are example of primary displacement so drawing this diagram will be helpful for you now coming to secondary displacement secondary displacement it's a movement of the whole bone caused by the growth of a bone which is either near to it or which is at a distance to it so the bone will not undergo any growth but a bone which is near to it will, uh, will undergo growth and that will cause the movement of this bone here also we have the same diagram same maxilla as an example but here in primary displacement i have so shown the bone deposition occurring in the maxilla that is in this region but here you can see the plus sign is near to the cranial base that is growth of the cranial base when it is occurring it is pushing the maxilla in anterior and inferior direction so growth of the cranial base will be displacing maxilla anteriorly and inferior the growth of an other bone is causing the growth of or displacement or physical movement of maxilla so that is secondary displacement growth of another bone causing the movement of this bone that is secondary displacement so both in primary and secondary displacement you can draw this diagram uh, showing the direction so it is easy to understand it will also help you fetch more marks in your exam so thank you that's all about drift and displacement in orthodontics see you again in another video